Hey guys, my glasses are hella dirty. Um, I'm tired guys. It's like nine something. Like I'ma just keep it a hundred. I supposed to record this last this early this morning before I went to work. The girl was tired when I woke up. I barely woke up for work. Literally woke up, put my clothes on, and went back to sleep until I knew it was like drastically time for me to leave because I would have been stuck in traffic. Okay, I literally stayed at work. I, I used literally like so wrong, whatever. I'm really tired, so just don't judge me right now. Don't judge me, okay? So, as you can tell, it's a what's in my bag, a classic YouTube video. Actually, I love these type of videos because I really love seeing what's in people's bags. Um, so the bag of choice is definitely vintage. Let's get into this video. So as you can tell by the title, what's in my bag, the bag of choice is ugh, Louis Vuitton Alma. I think this is the, this is the bigger size because I know one doesn't come bigger than this. I'm just going to double check. Yeah, this is definitely the MM. So the Louis Vuitton Alma MM, this is definitely vintage, super vintage. Um, my mom received it when I, maybe before I was born or when I was born or a couple years before that. If I'm looking at it right, oh, I think I am. It was July 95. So yeah, I was like two. Yeah, yeah. The bag is definitely supposedly 20 years old. I'm 22 right now. So I might be 23. So something like that. So the bag is old. So as you can see, here's the outside of the bag. I definitely put my own thing on it. I really, it's like for me, I like monogram, but then I have like a love hate relationship with monogram. So I'm really not feeling like this big bag all in monogram. This is just like, I really don't give a fuck. Like it's a bag, whatever. So I love it like this. Um, I'm actually making a service where I'll do this to your bag. Um, the bags I'll do it to is just up to my discretion, but I'm definitely doing it to Louis Vuitton's. So that's how this is. Um, sometimes I carry the straps. Most of the times I don't, unless I'm going out to like a party or something. I just don't want to feel like carrying it on my arm. Because with this bag, the only way you can carry it is like here or here. And as you see, it's like a bunch of stuff in here. And I try to like be gentle with this since it's an old bag and the ends are like, and the edges already just fall out. So what I have in my bag um I guess the first thing will be my card holder and just the monogram with the brown when I got this they weren't doing it in the colored if they were I probably would have bought the pink one and here I have um a receipt from parking at work my two main debit cards my Maryland license and my Costco business member card um, that varies. Oh, and then I have my business cards. That's for, like, my dessert business that I never do unless I personally tell somebody I do it. Um, next thing, I have deodorant because I'm super, super sweaty and I stink easily. I'm giving y'all TMI, but I just have been, like, a super sweaty kid from, like, from childhood. Like, I started wearing deodorant really early. I don't know. I just press fire a lot. Back then, I used to dance um, professionally or whatever. Or I don't know. However you say it. But, yeah, this is an all-natural deodorant. I can never wear this straight just by itself unless I just keep reapplying. And I watched another video and this girl had this. She was like, yeah, you got to, like, keep reapplying it throughout the day because it's natural. And it's um, Next, one of my new scents. This is the Kiehl's Original Musk. So, okay, so if you know me, you know... I'm definitely going to give y'all a scent video. Damn, I just draw this up. Um, but Tom Ford Tobacco and Vanilla is my number one top fragrance, okay? I used to have other top fragrances, and then once I became a fancy bitch, I bought that, blew some cash, and that became my number one fragrance. Like, I love masculine fragrances that have, like, a sweet side, and just, that's it. That's the only fragrance I like. But until I'm ready to drop three to five hundred dollars on another bottle I'm not buying that so I was like walking through Nordstrom and I stopped at the Kiehl's place I was like oh I didn't know you had that and it's like I smelled it and instantly knew this was like a scent and now I'm realizing I like the smell so much because it tastes like Prada Eau de Parfum the mint the one of the Prada men's scents that um Weiss wears 
and like when I first met him he had that I was like damn this smells good and so now I realize this is very similar but I like this because it's technically an oil so it like sits on the skin or like if you spray it in your clothes it like the scent is there for a long time so I really love this it's just like a super fresh it's just super fresh and like Louis smelled he was like oh my god I cannot get over this like it smells so good and what's so funny is like we like the same scent so I'll just be like spray 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 you too spray spray you too and so then like for some I was like I was like oh my god you smell so good he's like you smell good it was like we smell like the same person like what in the world so um there's that flaws you gotta keep flaws shout out to reach I love this flaws I have so many um what is this oh a piece of Luis's hair because that's always somewhere near me and I used to get really annoyed, but now I just am over it. Um, a cloth that should be in my sunglasses case, but I don't know where my sunglasses case is, which is kind of disturbing. Um, my Celine sunglasses, uh, eyeglass cleaner. Um, okay, <laughs> clearly I'm obsessed. Captain. Captain Cookie loyalty cards, and Nando's loyalty cards. You don't know how many I have of these, but now since I don't eat chicken, well, I'm trying not to eat chicken. It kind of like defeats the purpose. Um, what is all this? Another Nando's loyalty card. Another Nand. Three Nando's and three Captain Cookies. If you live in the D.C. area, you gotta try out Captain Cookie. They have a truck, a food truck that goes around that sells amazing homemade cookies and homemade ice cream. Um, if you don't go to the food truck, they have an actual place in Foggy Bottom, um, right across from the TGI Fridays. It stays open to like 2, 3 a.m. on the weekends. And I know it stays open late on the weekdays, too. They're the bomb, and they're very inexpensive. Um, a lady must keep her cleaning napkins. So I love these for the summer because, look, TMI, I sweat a lot. And for you ladies who do like the full bare wax all down there, if you don't have any hair to catch the sweat, don't you like press power even more and your skin gets all sticky? So if I'm rocking a bear, which, nah, it's no point, I could, it's no way I can rock a fully bear in the summer. Like, then you have to like really wear cotton underwear and cotton pants. It's just too much. So wipes, necessity. Um, a ton of Purell wipes that I take from Chick-fil-A. Took from Chick-fil-A yesterday because yesterday was my first and last time getting Chick-fil-A in the month of May. Eyeglasses wipes because my glasses are always dirty. Um, a massage membership. I got my first massage at the end of April and it was the best thing of my life. Um, receipts from the parking garage at work. Acid reflux pills because your girl acid been on 10. Um, my BJ's membership card. Look at that horrible picture. Um, a Bloomingdale's return gift thingy. More receipts. More Purell. My credit card. It's a four mirror where I don't know where it came from. I randomly just found it in this house. Um, a Home Depot receipt. Definitely had bought some random stuff. I was going to do a DIY and I was like over it, returning it. And then we were going to cook out on Sunday because it was more day weekend. And then the rain literally started on the way from picking up the charcoal from Home Depot and coming back to my house. So we were like, forget that. My parents were already home. So me and Louise literally went to Dave and Buster's and like sat there and got drinks. And then it started... Like a tsunami came and we were like, well, get another drink. Um, so next, oh, the thousand and one lip products. Cause your girl just, this is, this is un it's unnecessary. At this point it is like my whole bag is lip products. Um, <laughs> well, I found the Target receipt. Had to buy some detergent so I can do my laundry. Um, another Purell and then makeup products this is all of the make they go another piece of hair that clearly isn't mine um these are all the makeup pro makeup products i have most of them are nyx so if y'all want to have a video of like my favorite nyx products leave um a comment below or like and i will definitely do that because i love nyx um especially their matte lip creams i, I said this the last video 
of my gooey fake my gluey face my dewy face video i was telling you how i love the matte lip creams i literally have three or four in my purse right now um so if you really want to see that go ahead and like leave a comment below um and i also like put my dewy face routine in here somewhere i really don't have room to put all this stuff somewhere so it's just going on the floor um typically the other thing that'll either be in my purse or my hand is my phone now this is one of my phones i have another phone my actual personal phone which is i don't know where it is which is right there when i was saying the picture that's okay that's okay still sitting there um this is the iphone 6s plus in rose gold i literally haven't even had it for i had it for a week and cracked the entire screen pathetic um and then my personal phone is just a six just the six the small one so whenever the seven comes out i'll upgrade that one i just got it fixed because that screen was literally the button was falling off because i'm pathetic um i have lotion you gotta keep lotion because i have ashy hands the best eye drops in the world they literally cost like 15 dollars, but they are necessity if you live in a place where allergies are rabid um uh, i just had to go buy i bought a new one yesterday at target my favorite white nail polish it's the sally hansel miracle gel so it doesn't need a light but it's still gel it lasts forever anywhere i go i to take this because i typically only do white this color is 789 get mod just so you all can see that yeah this is the bomb it lasts forever this is my second bottle and i had the other bottle since last summer so you know it's real um white lighter supposedly you know that's superstition whatever um i'm almost done chapstick because i have ashy lips uh metal marker let's see how this looks yeah wendy you could totally do that Ooh, that's pretty isn't it probably can't see it can you let's hit it with the zoom in chris breezy with the dance moves can you see it where is it? I don't even see it. Yeah, I don't see it. Whatevs. Over it. Um, yeah, I don't know why I picked this up from work, but I said I was going to do something. Ugh, my stomach hurts. Um, what else? Earphones. I typically never carry earphones, but now since we like working at work, I don't want to hear anybody. Uh, my car keys. I need, I need desperately i don't desperately let me let me not say no dumb stuff like that whatever um what else oh my god we're almost done <laughs> so the next the last things in my purse if you get it then you get it if you don't you don't i like the little bug on here but it's a horrible one literally all of the metal stays on here so i really hate it um yeah oh um yeah don't buy ones from the gas station i'll just tell you that but i was in a bind sticky fingers wendy don't like it these are the bomb you gotta have these because who's doing one without the other try putting these in your blunts <laughs> get you a long way um what else oh my god we're almost at the end cash money hey i never have cash money i posted taking this to my savings account which is at a whole different bank that is so hard to get into which is bad because when it's hard to get into, I can never put the actual money I need to put in my savings account. And I've spent like half of the, like legit, half of the money been sitting over there for like four weeks. And then this money been sitting in my purse since last week. I'm pathetic. Um, and then do you hear all this change? I need to put this in my change jar over there. Oh, and then I had another lighter, but who cares? And last thing in my purse is one of my neck chains. One of my chokers that's going to be on my site. So, guys, um, as you can see, I have this one on right here. This is the chain reaction. It's all connected in the back. So, you have one that comes up here, one that comes up here, and the one that comes down here. Um, I can make it looser or tighter depending. This one I just have loose because I've been wearing to work and I just don't feel like feeling really restricted. Um, and then it drips all the way down 
like to the bottom of my bra so i really love that especially if you have like a deep feet on or something like that and then this is just the simple choker i like wearing this like if i have something more elaborate on or i even like it with this and it's like four right cute um so i keep saying um girl get your vocabulary together anyways these are going to be on winningintheCity.com. the launch of the site will happen today's the first on the 20th i'm going to be taking pre-orders probably the week before on the site or you can email me at contact wendy at wendyinthecity.com i have a lot of different chokers coming up we have the chain reaction which is the three choker with the drip 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 then i have just the dripping sex which is just one with the drip and then i have this one now remember all these are coming in different variations of chains i'm just showing everything in my favorite just super basic chain but i do have like multiple other chains that i'm doing different colors whatsoever i'm doing bracelets as well everything is just really simple for that simple girl who just doesn't like too much jewelry and doesn't like a lot of bling 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 unless it's on the ring 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 <laughs> i'm corny whatever um so yeah email me leave comments tell me what you all like tell me if you all like these if you don't i'd love to hear your feedback if you love this video you want more like it thumbs up i mean you really can't get more like it because do i even have any more bags <laughs> actually i just bought a philip limb bag i just bought two philip limb bags one has been locked we're not even gonna get into this i purchased some wang boots of two philip limb bags some isabelle morant pants and i only got two things my other two things have who knows FedEx is going to fight with me. I'm going to fight with Barney's too. I do have another bag, but I rarely care those. Um, yeah, and that's why I bought that other bag, but whatever. It's probably God told me I didn't need it because I really want a Fendi bag. So maybe I just should save all my money for a Fendi bag. Um, yeah, so um, it's it's time. It's time for me to go. I'm out. Um, oh, yeah, don't forget to follow me on my social media. It's probably been under here the entire time. Wendy.inthecity on Snapchat and what's that other thing called instagram i'm definitely instagramming more um if you want you can can if you do this if you put your phone up there you can follow me maybe so i don't know whatever so yeah check me out on instagram snapchat not telling you my twitter because i get real real ratchet on there we don't need none of that ratchet negativity over here right right also check out my website also if you're in the dc area I'm having my first event on June 19th, secret location, but it's a pop-up food event and it's going to be the rave and the food is going to be the bomb. The theme is a Mediterranean. Um, I have my house chef from Wendy in the City. We have a DJ, we have a photographer, we have a host who's from a radio station. It's going to be lit. I couldn't think of a better word. I'm sorry. I really couldn't. I really rambled my brain just now and I couldn't. But here's the event bright right here. Or I'll definitely have it below. Um, I don't have an outfit on. I guess I'll link you to the original of this bag. If you want your bag to look like this, please email me at contactwendy at wendyinthecity.com. And we can work some things out. I'm going to either do a thing where you can ship me your bag. And then I go to town on it. And then I ship it back to you for a charge. I mean, obviously I'm going to charge you to. This took me... A long time like our way so again check me out on snapchat and instagram that's wendy.inthecity also check out wendyinthecity.com to purchase your ticket you don't even have to go to the event bright you can purchase your ticket right there just push 2325 that's the name of the event you can read a little bit more about it and if you have any questions any inquiries about jewelry bags customized bags just send me an email at contact wendy at wendyinthecity.com i'll see you guys back here for another video on friday if this goes up today i don't know what day it is i don't even know i don't even know what's going on right now hopefully i'll see you all in two days for for another video and be blessed